What to do, YouTube? It's Ty Fetty with the Fetty. Back at it with another video, man. Y'all know what's going on, man. We here to handle business, man. They got Pearl on A at the table. We about to jump right into this reaction, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to say it one more time. Matter of fact, I'm going to say it two more times. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the last time I'm going to say it. Like, comment, subscribe. I plan me, man. Stop hating on me, man. I know y'all rock with me because I rock with y'all. Y'all rock with me because I rock with y'all. And y'all rock with me because I rock with y'all. You know what I mean? But now, nah, um, appreciate everybody who, who support me. I support everybody who support me. I got to come up with a name for y'all, man. I can't do Fetty Gang. That's too basic. Fetty, Fetty Mob, Fetty. I got to come up with something, man, because I, I know y'all rock with me, bro. Y'all giving me feedback. Y'all commenting. Y'all be getting more engaged. I'm fucking with y'all, man. I appreciate everybody. But we about to get right into this video. Let's get it. Lani, are you ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> Pearl, are you ready for this? I am. All right, so the topic today is, if body count doesn't matter, why do women lie about because it? Because it matters. I mean, Duh. the girl, like, it got to a point where, <laughs> shout out J. Cole, he put it out in his song, <laughs> whatever number she tells you, multiply it by three. I'm telling you. Because men... Hey, men, if she tells you she got... Five bodies is 15. If she tell you she got three bodies, it's nine. <laughs> if she tell you she got 10, it's 30. <laughs> if she say she got seven, it's 21. If she say she got eight, it's 24. Just multiply it by three because she is a lying, bro. She's lying, bro. That's just how it go. Don't even, I wouldn't even ask, bro, because all they're going to do is lie regardless. You feel me? Now, granted, you can't ask, and, and you can try to catch them in the lie. Make it a little easier, but I wouldn't even ask, but they're just going to lie every time, bro. It don't even matter, bro. But, yeah, they're going to lie for sure because it matters. They know it matters. They know it make them look crazy as hell. And for some reason, they know it make them look crazy, but they still go out here and rack their bodies up. Two plus two equals four, not six, fellas. <laughs> make it easier than it got to be. They have been lied to about a woman's body count mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. You know, it is a, it's a conversation that always happens, and we're not trying to uncover the body count of a woman. I don't mm -hmm. really think anybody's really asking what's your body count too much nowadays. Mm -hmm. However, Facts, that's what I say. Yeah, if I mean, the topic on, is or conversation is brought upon, mm -hmm. men are inclined to believe that women are going to lie about it before mm -hmm. they're honest. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, it does matter, and that's why women lie. Because, <laughs> like, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, they, they want, it's like, because the more men you sleep with, the less valuable you are. So they're trying to sell a used Honda Civic at BMW prices. And if they tell the, if they tell the, the dealer, the, the buyer, the mileage, then they have to lower the price. <laughs> right. For sure. Well, just imagine you about to buy a car, right? They tell you it's brand new. You get the car facts. It'd have been in full accidents. That price is going to go from 50000 to 20000 in a matter of 10 minutes. Come on, man. We, I'm not saying objectify women because, you know, everybody's a person. Everybody's a human being. Nobody is, as a human, nobody's lower than anybody else. We're all the same people. But as an analogy, it's the same thing, bro. You're not about to pay full price for a used car. Come on, bro. You want me to go out and spend this, spend that, spend that. But she was just getting hit on the air mattress a month ago by a nigga that didn't do nothing for you. Not going to get Ty Fetty like that. Ty Fetty don't even play like that. If y'all know Ty Fetty, y'all know in real life, Ty Fetty don't even play like that. You're going to know about yourself. You're going to hear about yourself. You're going to, I'm telling you about yourself. You're crazy as hell, female, woman. You're a crazy woman. You ain't going to, no, you can't get me like that. I don't, I don't care. You can't get me like that, bro. And like I've said in previous videos, bro, even with the body count, she tell you she got five bodies and she let you hit, she let you hit the second link. You ain't the first nigga that ain't hit in the second link, bro. She got five bodies and, and she lets you hit first link. You ain't the first nigga to hit on the first link, bro. Who the fuck are we? We aren't special. The hell? Like, I'm not special. I'm a regular, good standing Samaritan citizen. You let me hit in the back of a party, but you say you got full bodies. That's cap. You can't fool me like that, y'all. Fellas, you just got no wonder how to just break apart and dissect their lives, bro. That's all you got to do, bro. Like, don't try to go off body language. Don't try to go off eye contact. Just make it make sense, bro. That's all you got to do. Y'all first link in the car. Y'all pull up on each other. Y'all smoke in the car. And she, she get in the back. You get in the back. You end up cracking her buns. And she tell you she got six bodies. 
Multiply it by three because she done let 10 other niggas hit in the car. Come on, bro. Let's be real here. <laughs> I agree, Lonnie. What about you? Do you agree? I don't agree. Like, <laughs> why does my body count? Like, if you don't know and my value is all the way up here, like, what does it matter? Back to my car example. I guarantee, see, if I'm on this podcast, I'm right at her, I'm right on her nugget. Like, I'm on her nugget. I'm not playing where I'm on her top. No cap. So if you go to a dealership tomorrow and they say it's a used car, if it's a brand new car, you're not going to do, you're not going to check the car, inspect the car, take it on the test drive? I bet you she say, yeah. Why? Because she don't want to pay full price for a car that's been through a lot of shit. It's the same analogy. Like, come on, bro. Let's make it make sense. That's all you got to do, man. Make it make sense. Like, I don't think it's even a question to ask someone, like, who cares what my body count is? Me. Okay, so I agree with you on one thing. Fatty, I don't do. think it's like there's a high ROI on men asking because like what are the odds you get the truth? One. Exactly. And two, it's like it, even if she is telling the truth, you're gonna assume she's lying. So like facts too. I mean, you can ask, but I think so, it's the stigma. Though. But but two, um, it's because but men and women are different, so they're valued for different things. Like you're looking at it from a female lens. So like as a woman with a guy, like we don't really care what his body count is, but men they value purity in youth. Like, throughout all of time, men have always wanted pure, young virgins. And so, if you're not young and you're not pure, then that you're just not what men value anymore. According to who? According to, like, According to men, you dickhead. And that's the problem. I think there's a stigma the as to what it is that you're supposed to be. And if you have, I, I, I'm not sure even what the body count is supposed to be. It's like oh, you're I'm a sure. slut or whore or whatever, but... <sighs> Um, we need to de destigmatize that because I think that the reason why there is an issue because everyone's trying to conform to society's like rules. Who cares what you're like? Like in my culture, uh -huh. if you are a virgin mm -hmm. and you have sex with one person, that person is supposed to marry you. Uh -huh. It's like why? There's a lot of cultures like that. Yeah, but it, I don't understand what's the point. Well, you know, it's like, dude, the point is that you can get pregnant, you dickhead. You could like, what are you saying? Like the most, the the best gift a woman could ever give a man is a child, bro. So if you out here sleeping with John, Jerry, Mike, Larry, Ricky, and Ronnie, guess what? You can get pregnant by John, Jerry, Mike, Ricky, Larry, and Ronnie. What are you saying, bro? Like that's why it's like that, bro. Why would I want a girl that ten niggas then 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 ran through? That's crazy as hell. Oh my soul, that's insane. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, that don't even make sense. I would like what I can look at you and just imagine ten penises that been inside you. Come on, bro. That's crazy as hell. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, they have the least. Like, you know that anybody who That's has crazy. A marriage with zero to one other partners, right? So either no other partners or one other partners have the highest chance of a healthy, committed marriage. Healthy. Yeah, mm -hmm. three, healthy. Any, according to what? Well, this is a new census over the recent years, mm -hmm. um, and then they ask them, "Do you believe women? Believe all women? Come on, believe women." They ask what women? They say I, they, ask, I they ask women. So they what they do is they survey the women when they first get married. So they first get married, they say, um, "How many partners have you had?" It could be a lie, right? But let's just assume everyone lies by twenty percent, ten percent, like like if, 30%, 30%. If, if whatever they're lying by, whatever they're lying by, like everyone was asked the same question. Mm -hmm. So they say zero partners, right? Then in 10 years, they come back and say, how happy are you in your marriage? And then they say, this is how happy, and they rate them. And so then um, if they have zero to one partners, like he was saying, like they have an 80% chance of a happy marriage. It seems like the cutoff point is above five to like seven. That's kind of when you're like damaged goods. And <laughs> well, they said actually- they, For sure, the, the five to seven, is, I'm telling you. It's a newer consensus, right? And it's mm -hmm. um, three to nine mm -hmm. was, well, 10 or more. Uh -huh. I forgot the exact number, but ten she, more is like the most likely to have a non-committed. If she got ten bodies, throw her ass out. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's then crazy. Three to nine is then less, mm -hmm. and then obviously two is kind of like a no man's land, and then zero to one mm -hmm. is is actually the highest, and and mm -hmm. it's a higher by like that, like about around eight. And how many grandmas did they ask? Because I, I would think that that's the thing. Because if you ask my grandma why she stayed in a marriage and a terrible marriage for all these years, and was she still happy, she'll say yeah. But that you don't think it's that's terrible good? to you though. No, not when my grandfather was sleeping with twenty five other women. It's terrible to you. That's you. If your grandmother say she was happy and your grandfather was sleeping with twenty five other women, then she happy. Fuck you talking about. Obviously she don't care. 
To the left is ass. It's terrible to you. That's your standards. That's you. At the same time. And that's the reason your grandma been married since she was, you hear me? The, the, the marriage didn't work. Because she don't care about that and you do and you ain't married. Man, I can't make this shit up, y'all. I swear to God. 25 other kids spread out through the neighborhood. But you realize, like, most men, so, like, the idea that this is, like, this is a widespread thing going on, the men are just cheating, da 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 da, da. It's, like, it's not based in reality. Like, it might be your personal experience, but most men historically didn't even reproduce. So if you want a faithful guy, it's pretty easy to find one. One in three men are either virgins or haven't had sex in the past year. Even historically, only 40% of men reproduce. So if you don't want a guy that cheats, pick one. Just find your friend zone. But if you choose to get a guy that cheats, then... Yeah, like I usually don't get guys that cheat. What? I don't, I don't well, yeah, so that, but I'm saying that was your grandma's choice. Okay, but it's like you are saying, like, you're not saying where the study was done, mm -hmm. yeah. who it was done. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like... Why does that it's, matter? I just think to... You didn't made it up. Mm -hmm. I think you know what I'm saying? If you you want to be a person Why is it always that a girl's like, defense? Uh-huh. Great, It's the Center ahead. for Disease Control in the U.S. That's where the study was done. The CDC. So, like, and, and the thing is, is them, you the know, CDC, I, I bet she ain't saying that now. Is when, we, when people come mm -hmm. with, um, with stats and mm -hmm. or studies from places, mm -hmm. right, that debunk a stereotype, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, we have to realize that if I say, hey, all men cheat, right, mm -hmm. or all men are dogs, it's like, well, where did that study come from? Mm -hmm. And when was that done? When was that conducted? Mm -hmm. You know, it usually is something that has never been a stigma that's been passed down from generations. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's re really current. Like, mm -hmm. for example, this is a little bit off topic, mm -hmm. but I just found out that only 8% of black men um, are actually considered deadbeat dads. Mm -hmm. But if you ask the world, it's mm -hmm. way, well, in America, mm -hmm. if you ask the, if you ask America, it's way bigger than that. Like, that's like a big thing. Like, men don't take care of their kids here, but it's like only 8% of us don't, right? Mm -hmm. So now it's like... Do y'all understand how little 8% is? You got 100 people in a room, that means only 8 of them. Like, that's a little bit of people. All right. Real eight percent is tiny. Just imagine you win the lottery for a hundred million, and you only get eight percent of the eight percent of them winnings. You're gonna be pissed because that's a little bit. You're gonna be pissed. But nah, man. You know, y'all got the gist of the video, man. I just feel like me personally, body count matters. I don't give a fuck what, what nobody got to say. I don't care what girls got to say, dudes. Nah, it matters, bro. Ten up, throw her away. Shit, nine up, throw her away. Eight is on the edge of throwing her ass away. I'm telling you. I'm tell hey, it's women out here with five, four, three, two bodies, bro. It might be hard to find, might be difficult to to get accustomed to, bro. But it's worth it. They out there, ten, ten, ten and up though. She gotta go, kid. <laughs> she gotta go. But with that being said, man, it's Ty Fetty, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. S smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button, man. Instagram, man, Twitch in the description, man. I'm out. I'll catch y'all next time.